Hi, everybody. We are working through this book called Math in the Garden for our botany unit, and we're finding a lot of inspiration for different projects from this book. So this book is set up with a lot of different lessons, and within each lesson, there are many activities that you can do pertaining to math in the garden. And today, we are going to estimate how many seeds are in a tomato. This project is really easy to do, and you don't need that many supplies. And what's kind of neat about this is that you can go very easy with this lesson, or you can do it a lot more in depth. Now we're going to keep it pretty simple today. Now we have these garden journals that we did earlier on in this unit and we also were inspired by the book Math in the Garden for this project and you can see a video on how we made these. And so this is going to be our very first lesson or rather our very first entry for our garden journal and it's all about estimating how many seeds are in a tomato and so we've begun this project by drawing a tomato. Now we've chosen a very small grape tomato and it, it turns out that it looks a lot like an apple when we're drawing it, at least that's what my son said. Um, now my 10 year old son is working on the left and my six year old daughter is working on the right and we're a little bit crowded here but we're doing this so that you can see how I am doing the lesson with my children and how they are copying along next to me and this is how we do a lot of our lessons in our homeschool. So my six year old daughter decided to write grape tomato which I didn't expect her to do but she did a great job and then she was kind of done with the project after that and that's my son's grape tomato and then we are going to be estimating how many seeds are inside this tomato. Now we ended up cutting it before we measured the circumference and so later we're going to have a little bit of a challenging time getting the circumference and now that we have cut it open we want to now draw the cross section of the tomato. Now my son is off to the side there and I'm holding the tomato and I'm drawing at the same time and as I'm drawing I'm explaining to him how to do this with you know the shape of the seeds or how many there are or the skin of the tomato. I'm, I'm just giving him these little pointers on how to actually do this and it's really hard for me personally to draw something that's three-dimensional. It would have been a lot easier for me just to get an image off the internet and copy it but I think in the end it turns out okay. Now we're going to color in these images using our Distress inks and we're going to use them as watercolors. So we're just going to smoosh them onto this non-porous surface and I've got a variety of greens and reds. And this is a really easy way to watercolor. I love the colors that you get from these Distress inks. And what's really great about this particular project is that we are working on drawing paper, not watercolor paper. And so using a drier watercolor is going to work better because you don't want to tear the paper. And so now it's time to fill in our image and this is kind of the fun part in my opinion. And we're going to leave all the pencil marks inside. We're just going to use them as a guide on how to kind of fill in all the watercolors. And you're going to see a little bit of the pencil marks at the end but I think it kind of adds to the whole design anyway. Then we're just going to go ahead and get all the reds and the greens and a little bit for the yellow for the seeds and that's about it. Now you don't want to be too wet with this otherwise it's going to bleed through the paper and stain the other papers in this garden journal as well as tear the paper. So you want to go really easy on this. So my son's just going to finish up his watercolor of the cross section of a tomato. And I really like the way his turned out. In fact I've been really pleased with his artwork the whole year. So he's just going to finish that up and then we will get to estimating how many seeds are in the tomato. Now before we want to actually estimate the seeds we want to measure the circumference and we forgot to do this originally so I'm kind of holding the tomato together and we used a string in order to measure it and then we put the string down on our measuring tape. It ended up being a little bit too hard to use the measuring tape around the tomato to begin with. And now it's time to estimate how many seeds are in that tomato and I believe I estimated about 75 and I think my son estimated about 30 or 40 and now it's time to count them up. And what I found to be pretty easy when it came to counting them up was to kind of group them and then count within those groups and it was a little bit easier for us to keep track of the numbers. Now this is after about a week or so and in that time we were able to cut up another tomato and estimate how many seeds were in that one. So if you want to see how this garden journal is going to develop over the coming weeks you can follow along on Instagram and if you want to see the rest of the videos in our botany unit you can click on the screen right now.